In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the best video settings for the Canon 80D. Let's roll that intro. Hi guys, and welcome to Ben's Guide, your guide to the best news, reviews, and how-tos from the world of photography and video. The Canon 80D. It's hard to believe that this camera is nearly three years old, but it's still exceptional. And if you've gone out there recently and bought this camera, let me tell you, you made a great choice. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the best video settings for the Canon 80D. So without further ado, let's jump in and get started. The first place we're gonna start is frame rate. This is one of the basic things that you need to know on your Canon 80D. You can choose frame rate by clicking this button and then FHD here. 24 frames per second is gonna give you some really nice cinematic style video footage. So if that's what you're after, you're gonna to wanna to choose this option. Of course, if you're looking to create slow motion footage, then you need to choose 60 frames per second here. When you slow this footage down in your video editing software, this is gonna provide you with some beautiful, smooth slow motion footage, which is really visually appealing. One of the best things about the Canon 80D for video is the autofocus. It's exceptional. So knowing which autofocus does what is really important. To navigate to the autofocus options, you've just gotta click this button here at the top. When you've selected it, you can see three different options. The first, if we click it, is face tracking. Now, if I go and stand in front of the camera, if everything's working correct and I've set it up right, you can see that this is now tracking my face. Now, the Canon 80D has exceptional face tracking capabilities with its dual pixel autofocus. We're not gonna go into too much detail with that right now, but it's so good. And it's always gonna lock onto your face and give you that really good autofocus. The next option gives you control over focus in the middle of your frame. If you look here, you can see this rectangle and then I can click it and drag this box around. Wherever I remove the box, the camera and the lens is going to focus. This can be really handy if you need to focus on a subject which is in this position in your frame. Lastly, the option you have is this one here. And this is called Flexi Zone Single. When you change to this option, you will have a square box in the middle. The beauty of this mode is wherever you move the square box, it's going to go in focus. So whatever is in this box is going to find focus. Now, this is great for doing something called pulls, which you find in lots of films and documentaries. This basically means that you can click on one object here, and then you can pull the focus to another object in the distance. This creates a lovely leading line in the video, and it's really visually striking. Picture profiles are a great way of coloring your video footage. Pressing this button again and clicking here, you can see that you have a whole host of options down the bottom. You have profiles such as portrait, and this is really good for scenes that have people in. It's designed to create better skin tone. You've got landscape, which is really good for creating more vivid colors in your landscape and you've got a whole host of different options here. You've even got more over the other side. And then finally, you have three preset modes. These are modes that you can change yourself. Now, what's really good about these modes is if we click into one and press info, you can actually create something called a flat profile. Basically, this takes out a lot of the contrast, the color and the saturation out of the video. This is really good if you want to then color grade your footage after in your video editing software. 
So if I just press on these levels, you can see I'm able to drag them down then drag the contrast down and the saturation. And I'm creating a flatter video profile, which means it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to actually add color in, in the post-processing stage. For the best quality video on the Canon 80D, you will need to use one of the lowest ISOs that you can when recording. As you can see at the moment, my ISO is on 250, which is definitely low enough. Using high ISOs can create noise in your video, and I never go above 1600. I will only ever push it up to 1600 and no more. And that's because I find that on the 80D, you start introducing too much noise into the video. Always try and keep your ISO, if you can, between about 100 and 400. This is a pretty much sweet spot that is always going to guarantee that you've got great quality video. Basically put, the lower the ISO, the better the quality. I will say that there will be certain times that you'll need to shoot low light and there is no external light in the scene. Times like this, you're going to need to push up your ISO higher. As long as you're not introducing too much noise into the image though, then it should be fine. Now the Canon 80D actually has a built-in microphone, but it's not something that I'd advise using if you're looking to get the best audio quality. What you want to do is you want to go onto the audio settings on your camera. And then you want to make sure that it's on manual. When you've put it on manual, you want to change the recording level and bring it all the way down to the bottom. The reason for this is so when you plug in an external mic, you're not picking up the camera's preamps. You're actually just picking up the external mic only. I will add some links in the description of this video so that you can check out the microphones that I highly recommend for good audio. The last thing, and definitely one of the most important things to get right, is smooth footage. Nobody likes shaky footage unless you're shooting some kind of action scene and then it's required. There are two ways that you can stabilize your footage so that it's not jerky. The first one is to get a lens with stabilization. This is really going to improve the way your footage looks and it's gonna make it smoother. Now this is probably the cheapest way to do it, but the next way is to get something called a gimbal. These create the ultimate cinematic looking smooth footage. But unless you're really serious about your video, you won't need to buy one of these and a lens will work just fine. Now, if you're interested in seeing the best budget lenses that you can buy for the Canon 80D, then check out the video card at the top of the screen now. So I hope you found today's video settings for the Canon 80D really useful. Of course, if you've got any questions that you'd like answering, leave me some comments in the comment section of the video. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more camera news, reviews, and how to's. Whatever you do for the rest of your day, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.